Well, hello there. So, I'm outside. That's the first for me. So I thought I'd make a little, I don't know, vlog thingy outside. I, you know, there's one point in life when you just realize you can go anywhere you freaking want. And I think today I have uh, realized that. So I'm just walking here along this train track, which is actually in use, but it, I think like it's used twice a week or so. It goes uh, to a uh, car factory right on the other side, which gets uh, Citroën and Peugeot cars all over the world. They come out, some of them come out from here. Well, from factory, over there. Uh, yeah, someone has parked a an, ex an excavator, it seems. Uh, on top of the track, so yeah, when the train passes, I don't know what they're gonna do, but I don't know. I just thought I'd make a little update on life and stuff. So, yeah, first of all, I have realized that that you can just go anywhere you freaking want. Second, it's a nice sunny day, and uh, it's not too hot. We've had uh, some scorching hot days, like 34, 35 degrees Celsius. Uh, I think we, I do believe we got up to like 42, something like ridiculous like that. Uh, but today is like 21, 22 degrees, so it's a nice day. I decided to well go out. Uh, and now I'm just pretty, I'm pretty much waiting for uh, the, the thrift store to open. I've also put some money in the bank and spent it already. And that is, I bought uh, two iBook G4s. Now, what for? Uh, what did I buy them for? Now, one of them is a 1.42 GHz 14 inch model. That is the last PowerBook G4. And the other one is just, I think it's a 900 megahertz, something like that. It's one of the ones with a clear keyboard. And that did a sound an awful lot like a train. Uh, but yeah, I do not believe really. Oh wow, is that a train? <laughs> yeah, they're in the distance. You probably can't see it, but that actually is a train. Well, they don't... <laughs> Like, this train track is limited to like 15 kilometers an hour, so not to worry. Apart from that, excavator and stuff. Uh, so, where was I? Oh yeah, the iBooks. So, I bought those, and I'm thinking of doing uh, what I'm gonna call the Risk Challenge. And that is Risk with a C at the end. Meaning... I'm only going to use uh, RISC based computers, so no x86 whatsoever, for an entire week. And that means I'm going to use a Power Mac G4, a dual 1.33 MHz uh, G4, as my desktop computer. I'm gonna use the Sun Enterprise 250, which I use every day anyways, as my server, file server, downloads, all that. And I'm gonna use the iBook, the 1.42 gig, as my uh, as my laptop. Hopefully, if it works, I I mean I don't have it. I bought I bought it as spares. Hopefully, I I do believe it has been. Uh, like the uh, the hard drive has been removed. I do believe that is because the uh, the motherboard has failed. Probably, like in most 1.42 gigahertz iBooks, they have a little bit of a problem with the uh, with the voltage regulator for the video card, 
and well the power pins overheat and well the solar joints crack but hopefully it's not a BGA chip it's a uh, I don't know what you call them well it's, it's an, F an SMD package and it's easy to repair so hopefully I will be able to do that now I'm I'm just looking to see if the train is actually gonna come here or what okay So, uh, wow, uh, it's, it's been a l long, long time since I don't walk uh, down this track, like a really long one, <sighs> but, so where was I, see I lost my train of thought again, haha, <laughs> train, I wanna, okay, so, uh, yeah, if I can repair the iBooks, I will use that. Now, I am thinking of launching an, uh, a GoFundMe or something like that campaign to get parts for the computers because one, the power, the power Mac, uh, I only have a hard drive for it and I would love an SSD in there because well I mean spinning rust in 2017 no uh, I let's see second I would like an SSD for the power book sorry well I wish it was a power book uh, but no an SSD for the iBook which would need, of course, an MSATA to ID adapter, too. I'm not buying one of those uh, ID SSDs. I don't like that. So I'm buying a proper MSATA SSD, and then I'm buying a, bri a bridge chip. So that, I'd also like to buy one gigabyte of RAM and one gig stick for the iBook, so that would bring it to 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, and if the money allows it, like uh, that would be a lot of money that I'd have to raise. Uh, but uh, if the money, if I have uh, enough money, I would uh, also buy a better graphics card for the G4, which has got an FX 5500 in it. Now, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but uh, my girlfriend actually left me a couple days ago. Well, what you gonna do? I'm 20, like, I'm, I wasn't expecting the relationship to last forever. But yeah, we've, we've been together for two months, sorry, six months, almost six months. And yeah, well, I haven't been able to spend uh, that much money uh, on computer uh, stuff, mainly because, well, she lived, like, well, she lives uh, 450 kilometers away, and I had to pay the uh, coach trips there, yeah, and... I think I'd rather move away from here because th there's a lot of noise coming from there. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm think I think I'm better turning around. I'd better turn around. So yeah, look at that. They removed the overhead wiring. They used to have the overhead wiring. So there's the main line runs through there under there, right? And this line is a lot older than that one. So this one actually... Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's a... See, that's a train running uh, through the main line. Uh, so this line is a lot older. And it comes from pretty much the same part as that one. But for some reason, they didn't remove the rest of this. And this line crosses over the other line so that's why the red uh, 
signal there because well the switch is closed the other way uh, so uh, I don't know where I was going with this yeah the thing is this is an old line this is like really really old uh, so they used uh, so when they put the new line there the this line they electrified all of it except for well that part which goes up to the factory uh, so yeah I think I do believe uh, they used this here to switch from uh, electric uh, locomotives to diesel ones I do believe so don't quote me on that but it seems like it because this line was electrified they removed the overhead wiring like two years ago or so the main line still has overhead wiring because well we live in Europe well I live in Europe and electric trains are a thing we don't just throw 30 uh, diesel locos at every freaking train we're fine uh, so we used to have these uh, these locos called the Renfe 269s which the, were electric ones they were Japanese made well that they were made here but the, the design was Japanese and yeah those things have been pulling trains for like 30 40 years they have been recently replaced by um, Renfe 253s uh, and I don't like those as much it seems like a your typical German designed uh, super modern efficient looking locomotive and they really don't have any personality to speak of uh, but hey now this line is mainly run by Renfe 333s which are diesel uh, electric logos and uh, yeah, they have an EMD engine. If I remember correctly, I think it's a 16-cylinder EMD engine. I do not remember the name of it, but it seems to be used in like many variants uh, of that engine. That are just used pretty much everywhere. Uh, so yeah, like seems like every country has a version of that logo. Now you will have noticed, uh, the track is actually quite wide, uh, the gauge is quite wide, so this is Iberian ga uh, gauge, this is I believe 1.60 something meters, and yeah it is uh, quite a bit uh, wider than international gauge, so we have some stuff going on with uh, so high-speed trains here in Spain run on regular like international gauge and then uh, your regular old trains run on Iberian uh, gauge that is for both Spain and Portugal and then we have like some trains that can change gauge like we have some Telgo services that go from Spain to France and those uh, change gauge and I don't know I don't really know I, I'm into trains but I don't really know that much about them uh, 14 minutes yeah I think we are at a decent length so yeah I think that's pretty much it hopefully I will be able what time is it it's 9 o'clock, the thrift store opens at 9.30. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, record some thrifting today too. And yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty much about it. And maybe I was seeing things because I don't see the train anymore. So, I don't know. Hallucinations. I don't know. Yeah, look at this. Does this look uh, cyberpunk or what?
with all the wiring there and yeah I like I actually li <laughs> kind of live here well I live up uh, like a kilometer away this is the ghetto of Madrid pretty much uh, this is uh, this is where well there used to be a lot of industry here but there isn't anymore so yeah and wasps wasps like to fuck everything up now here's the cool thing well not so cool anymore but uh, this track used to grow uh, I don't know what you call them there are some red flowers they use their seeds on some bread I know that much and I do not remember what uh, the what they're called in English but well I used to pick them up is that a capacitor? oh that looks like oh no it's at the top of a bottle nice yay alcohol so yeah that's a way to waste the little money you get spend it on alcohol so yeah I uh, I was saying this is like the ghetto of uh, Madrid and yeah well <laughs> it's where I live it's a very poor uh, uh, neighborhood for some reason there's a Yahoo why painted there I don't know you know some of these sleepers like these uh, slippers have uh, a number stamped onto them and there's some from like the 60s let's see what see this one is from yeah this one's from 1959 look at that 1959 that is the year this has been here from for yeah for 52 years I do believe I'm not good at math yeah 52 years this used to be the main the main line before not that one but other another uh, track that runs from so the station is over there and then there's a track that runs from there uh, underground right through to the other station which is over there so there used to be the this line which went from there which is the center of Madrid which is the what was called the uh, Estación del Mediodía which is which means uh, fuck how can I not remember such a basic word uh, well fuck anyway it, it was the main station in Madrid and then it, the, the track would come from here and it would go over there it would go through some factories it would go through a station and then it would well, continue on I don't know how, a lot of kilometers but, but then they built the other line which is underground and at first uh, these two lines so this one and the other one connected but they were pretty redundant and I had they, they built a road over this one and yeah they just cut this thing like they just literally cut it and now this thing's just a dead end from here to the factory and that's about it really so I think I've ranted on for quite a while I uh, hopefully I can get some footage of me thrifting so yeah that's it for this part of the video